to the very first episode of The No Zone. This is a place that's full of laughter, learning, and a lot of fun. My name is Wanja. My name is Charlie. And I'm Marara. Marara, just speak up. I don't think they heard you. Oh, and I'm Marara, the lion. Ha! Ah, <laughs> that's much better, Marara. Now, Marara is actually the shyest lion in the whole of Africa. So we're going to ask all of you at home to be really, really nice to him. That's right. Now, I know we're all very excited about watching the No Zone. And I tell you, we have a fun packed show just for you. But first, I'd like you to come and meet our studio guests. They're very eager to greet you, so come along. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Say hello to the kids at home. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Marara. Now, we're all really excited to have you here for today's show, and we're really happy that you're helping us out. And we're going to have lots of fun, right? Yes! Excellent. Now, to start us off, why don't you tell the audience what today's No Zone buzzwords are? Now, No Zone buzzwords are really important words, and we'll be asking you to listen out for them throughout the episode, so please, try and pay attention. Now, today's buzzwords are all about peace, right? Who can tell me what they are? Yes, Amy? Peace. Conflict. Love. Harmony. Forgive. You wrote all of them down? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wonderful, that's great. Excellent, so we have an exciting treat for you. Do you all know the show Makutano Junction? Yes. 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 Okay, now we will go all the way to Makutano and then we'll find out what the kids there have been up to. Look out for the buzzwords and see how many of them you can remember after Junction Juniors. And it's time for the Junction Juniors to elect a new leader. I believe I have been a good leader, and I hope you will give me all your votes. Yay. When I am elected again, I promise to bring harmony and, and peace. No. I said and peace. No, you said harmony. Bakari, didn't I say and peace? Mm. It's okay, we can listen to the speeches after we voted. Let's start then. Wait, we can start with O'Brien, where is he? Password! Harmony! Spell it! H-A-R-M-O-N-Y Yes! Junction Juniors, we have an emergency. I was on the road near the river. I went around the corner and almost ran into him. How big was he? James, let him finish. Go on, Brian. His arms were very big. They were like two of mine. Is he one of the village chokoras? I, I don't know. Then what happened? <sighs> Let's be stuff from the beginning. Batista. I don't believe your story. I think you're trying to spoil our elections. No, I'm not. We'll see about that. Let's start voting. We can't start the elections when one of us is in trouble. We have to help Brian first. Maybe the thief took Brian's biscuits because he's not from the same tribe as Brian. Can that be true? Yes. It's tribal violence. I'm scared my parents will separate. They come from different tribes. Lele is from a different tribe than me, 
But we are all the same because we are both Kenyans. Tribalism is very wrong. We should go find the thief and get Brian's biscuits back. Go, John Sean Juniors! Yeah! Hey! Hey, you come back here! Come back now! What's wrong, my speedy? Are you just like oh? Someone has stolen my milk. How much milk have they stolen? I milked four cows. Each cow gives me two buckets of milk. So that's eight buckets? Yes, but one has been stolen. So you still have seven buckets left. Isn't that enough? I've got eight customers. I've got more customers than buckets of milk. Oh, they're going to be very angry with me. How did the thief manage to steal the milk? I was in the granary trying to chase away the big rats. Oh, those horrible creatures. The rats. What am I going to do? I have an idea. Sure? Yes. yes! We'll split into two groups. One group will find the biscuit thief and one group will find the milk thief. Okay? Okay! okay. Hey! Come see this! It's milk! Follow me! same size as mine. It must be mine. The thief must be very close. Let's follow the trail. when I saw him. Why did you steal Brian's biscuits? And must feed his milk? Stealing is wrong. He could get arrested and put to jail. Is it because Maspidi and Brian are not from your tribe? I don't hate anyone because of their tribe. I hate tribal violence. You don't know what I've gone through. What's wrong? You can tell us. Your secret is safe with us. We promise, don't we? My tribe fought with another. Then our house was burnt. My mother died, and my sister. My father and I live in a camp now. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go home again. I'm sure things will go back to normal soon. Yes, people will soon realize that hatred only brings pain and sadness. I hope so. Wow, where did you get her from? She was lost. I had to get her some milk or she would have died. But I can't feed her. I can't even feed myself. That's why I stole. Poor Mufat needs a home. I have an idea. Moffat can live here with me. She'll chase the rats even if they're the same size with her. I promise to take good care of Moffat. However, what you did cannot go unpunished, Babu. For the next one week, you'll be coming here after school to help me with the milking. After which, we'll share two cups of tea and some bananas. Yay! And the Junction Juniors, 
You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Maspidi, for forgiving Babu. Brian, you too should forgive Babu for stealing your biscuits. Okay, I forgive you. But next time, take anything else but leave my biscuits. <laughs> we should learn to forgive and forget. We should not hate people just because they are from a different religion or tribe. And the Junction Juniors, I hope you can teach people this. We will, Maspidi. Hey, it's getting late. Remember, we've got voting to do. Bye, my speedy. Take care of Mofa. Bye. 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 Nita. Leleti. Bakari. Yes. Nita. And finally, Nita. Nita has the most votes, so she's the new president of the Junction Juniors because she got more votes than all of us. That's not fair. You should have voted for me. You're my sister. James, that's a bad thing to say. People shouldn't vote for their family. They should vote for the person who will do the best job. Just accept the result. Don't be greedy. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes, you are. Stop. Let's not fight. Today we've learned that conflict brings unhappiness. We should learn to live in peace and harmony as Kenyans. After all, God made us equal, no matter who we are or where we come from. Hooray for Nita! I really enjoyed that. Ah. Did you guys enjoy that? Yes. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Did you learn anything, Mara? Oh yes, I learned a lot. <laughs> Great. So, did you hear any of the buzzwords we taught you on peace? Huh? I learned the word harmony. Yes, Nduta. I had the word tribe. Very good. Mm. Mara, did you learn something? Yes, I also yeah. learned to live with people. Very good. What else? What else? Yes, now I'll. I learned that you should not steal from people. Yes, Amy. I learned that you should forgive the people who do wrong. I learned that we should love and respect other people from different tribes. Very good. You've all learned a lot. We should yeah. all forgive each other, and we should all love one another, no matter their tribe or religion, so we can all live in peace and harmony. I know what that sound means. It's time for the cool words. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to Cool Words. I'm here to help you improve your English. Hi everyone. Hey Marara, how are you doing? I'm fine. I know you love learning, don't you? Yes. Good. Now karaoke, please pass me that thing there. No, 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 not that one. That one there. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt teacher, but which thing do you want him to pass to you? It's not clear. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, what problem are we having here? You are not saying the name of the thing you want him to pass to you. That's right, Marara. All these things here have names. In English, we call these names nouns. Who can tell me what a noun is? It's the name of a thing. That's right. A noun is the name of a thing. Or, or a noun is the name of a person, like my name, Marara. That's right. A noun is the name of a person. Someone else? A noun is also the name of a place, like Africa. Excellent. A noun is also the name of a place, like Africa. Or Uganda, uh -huh. or Nairobi. That's right. Well done, all of you. So can you name the objects on the table? A shoe. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. a shoe. A leaf. That's right, a leaf. A pencil. A pencil. A stone. 
a stone, a stick, a stick. How can you tell that all these are nouns? Is it because you can see them? Yes. Is it because you can touch them? Yes. Hey, uh, wait a minute. You can't see the wind, so does it mean that the wind is not a noun? Uh huh. The keyword here is the wind. So if you can put the or are in front of a word, then that word is a noun. Great, now let's practice. If I am a woman, what are you? I'm a girl. I am a girl. I am a boy. I am a lion. So the words girl, boy, lion are nouns. I am the teacher. So teacher is also a noun. Now who can make a sentence using one of the objects on the table? A sentence must always begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop, okay? Yes. So I will start. This is a leaf. Nice, your turn. I like playing with a stone. That's oh, right. Good. I like playing with a stone. Yes. I write with a pencil. Correct. I write with a pencil. You all know what a noun is, don't you? Yes. What is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, a place, or a thing. Great. Now let's finish a lesson by playing a game. How many of you know how to play I Spy? I do, I do, I do. OK. So I will look for something, and then I'll give you a clue. Uh, just the first letter of the word, and you have to guess what we have spied. That's right. You can join in at home. So I spy with my little eye something beginning with the letter L. Is it a light? No, it's not a light. Is it a lady? No, not a lady. Oh, 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 oh. is it a lion? That's right, Marara. I spy a lion. Yes. Marara, you can go now. Next. OK, OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with um, J. Is it a jug? No. Try again. Is it a jumper? No. Is it a jacket? Yes, Teacher Pendo's jacket. So, Teacher Pendo, are all these things with spied nouns? Yes, that's right. All these are nouns. A leaf, a stone, a jacket. Well done, all of you. You've all been brilliant. You can carry on playing. Well, now it's time to go explore what's out there in a big, wide world. It's time for Out There. Hello everyone. What do you think is out there for us to see today? Let's go and find out. I'm here at Keradimo IDP camp. I'm here to see some very special friends. <laughs> Before we meet them, let us first learn what an IDP camp is. The letter IDP stand for internally displaced people. These are groups of people who have been forced to move from their homes due to war, conflict, fear, disagreement, or anything else that destroys harmony among people living together. This camp at Kiradimo has been set up by the Red Cross, an organization that looks after people during times of war and conflict. In the camps, there is very little space. Many, many people have to sleep in this room. There are no beds and nowhere to keep belongings. It is a very difficult situation. Many of the children at this IDP camp want to keep up with their education. Luckily, some wonderful teachers have volunteered to teach them. Let's go and meet them. Hello, Mwalimu. Hello, <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Hello, Jen. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Gatu. Jane and Gathu are some of the children who are staying in this IDP camp. Their families are displaced from Kakamega and Molo as a result of the tribal violence. Jane is in Standard 5 and Gathu is in Standard 3. But because there is only one classroom in the camp, they are being taught together by teacher Mary. She isn't being paid for her work. She just has a big heart. You know what? It's playtime. 
Even though these children have been through a lot of difficulties in recent times, they are still able to laugh and have fun. It is important to have peace in a country. People should love each other and learn to handle conflict in a non-violent way. We must learn to forgive and forget wrongs that have been done to us. My prayer is that all children like Jane and Gathu will one day go back to their home, to their normal lives. I know that Gathu feels the same way. He's a very wise boy. Let's listen to what he has to say. My name is Francis Gathu. People do not fight, do not steal, and, and pray well. When I finish school, I want to be a pilot. Wow, what an intelligent boy. I'm sure he will achieve his dreams of becoming a pilot. It is important to have dreams. My dream is for a peaceful and loving Kenya where children are friends with children from different tribes and countries. We must all work hard to build peace in our country. This is our country and it is us who can better look after it. We must all work at peace and we must love each other regardless of our differences like tribe, color, or richness. Children, let us love Kenya. We love Kenya! Hi, Maspidi here. Don't go anywhere just yet. I hope you learned a lot from our visit at the IDP camp. And I'll be visiting lots of different nice places in the next few weeks on the Nozone. And I thought it would be a good idea just to give you a very special sneak preview of what you're going to be enjoying. Do you like taking trips? If so, you will not want to miss out on a trip to Mombasa. Join me on my fairy adventure. Or how about having a go at beekeeping? I love honey, but you have to be careful when you walk around bees. And if you love tasty treats, you will really enjoy visiting this biscuit factory. Well, those are just some of the fantastic places that we'll be visiting in the next few weeks. But for now, let's go back to the studio and get to hear from Wanja and Charlie what they thought about our visit to the IDP camp. See you next time, out there. Wasn't that great? I hope Gathu achieves his dream of becoming a pilot when he grows up. I hope so too. It was really wonderful to go and just learn so many interesting and wonderful things from Maspidi and all his friends in the IDP camp. Yes, yeah. we learned the importance of loving our neighbors so that we can all live in peace and harmony. That's true, Mara, that's great. true. Now, usually this is the point where we say goodbye, but today is a special day because today is Saturday! <laughs> exactly. Right. Today is Saturday, which means there's 30 more minutes of fun, facts and learning right here on the Saturday no Zone! All right. Everyone, come, come and see the greatest thing, greatest thing on your TV. Learning new and exciting stuff, making homework not so tough. Move your feet and shake your bones. Have some fun in the new just great but don't go anywhere because we have more coming up on the no zone
great. So we're very happy that you're here today to help us with the show. But before we go on, let's remind the kids at home what our buzzwords are. Who can tell me? Amy? Peace. Conflict. Yeah. Love. Harmony. Forgive. Very good. Now, you notice all these words are about peace, which is a very important subject. And we hope that you at home will look out for these buzzwords. Where's Marara? Why don't we all call him to come and join us? On three. One, two, three! Marara! Hey, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? Where, what, what's happening? Where have you been? Oh, I've been talking to my best friend, Ranger Rukia. She looks after wild animals like me. She's teaching me all about protecting Africa's animals and environment, which is something we should all learn to do. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Can we meet Ranger Rukia? Of course. Let's watch the Wild Zone. Yeah! Hello, everyone. My name is Rukia, and I'm a ranger. My job as a ranger is to protect wildlife. I would like to show you all the amazing and wonderful animals that we are so lucky to have living on our continent, Africa. Follow me and have a look at our wonderful wild world. animal, big and small, plays an important role in our wild world. Sadly, many of these animals that we have just seen are endangered, which means that there are not many of them left in the world. This is because humans have hunted and killed them. Humans kill animals for many reasons. Sometimes it is for their fur or horns, which they sell to make money. Sometimes it is because the animals have eaten their cattle or trampled on their shambles. However, there is no reason for humans and animals to be in conflict with each other. It is possible for humans and animals to live together in unity and harmony. We just need to learn more about these animals and learn to love them and protect them. I want you to love these animals as much as I do. We should enjoy sharing our world with these animals. They are beautiful and funny and brave and interesting, and we are very lucky to be able to share our wild world with them. That's all for now, Nose on Rangers. See you soon. Bye! Welcome to Hot Numbers. I'm here to help you with your schoolwork and to show you that maths is fun. <laughs> hey, Marara, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Very well. Hi, everyone. 
Hi. Welcome to Hot Numbers. Now today we're going to learn about whole numbers. And to help us, we are going to use this number chart and some number cards, okay? Now I made this myself and you can easily do that at home. You just need some paper, a pencil and a ruler, okay? Now looking at this chart, who can tell me which is the smallest number? Yes, karaoke? One. That's oh. right. Oh. One is the smallest number. Now, who can tell me which is the biggest number? 100. That is right. 100 is the biggest number. Now, I hope you are joining in at home. Now, who can tell me which number has the most digits? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yes, Marara? 100 has the most digits. That's absolutely correct. 100 has the most digits. Let's count the digits together. One, One two, two, three. three. So 100 has three digits. Who can tell me a number that has just two digits? Yes, Victoria? 45. You're absolutely correct. 45 has two digits. Who can tell me a two-digit number that is bigger than 45? Yes, Asta? 70. 70, absolutely mm -hmm. correct. Seven and zero. Oh, you're good. You're very good. Uh, what about a one-digit number that is smaller than six? Three. Good. Oh, three. Absolutely right. Now, who can tell me of a two-digit number beginning with the number six? Yes, Masharia? 69. That's right. There we have it. 69. Well done, all of you. So, Masharia, we are through with this number chart. Can you just place it down there? I have some number cards. Oh. Now, with these number cards, I can make lots of different numbers. For example, if I pick these three cards, and then I have um, four, six, and nine. Now, if I remove this nine here, and just have four and six, what number have I made? 46. Absolutely right. Now, what if I remove the four here and put the nine there? What number have I made? 69. Absolutely right. And how about now? 469. Now, I'm going to give you two cards between two of you, and I need you to make a number, okay? Mm. There you go. Make a number for us. So, Victoria and Karaoke, what number do you have? 84. Okay, Eighty and uh, how about Mashari and Awal? 74. And how about Amy and Asta? 52. Let's arrange these numbers from the smallest to the biggest. Which is the smallest number? 52. Okay, so we have our 52 there. And uh, which number follows 52? 74. Absolutely ah, nice, right. Nice. And then? 84. You've all seen clearly that different numbers have different values. Some are bigger and others are? Smaller. Smaller. Fantastic. Now we're going to finish our lesson with a quick game. I want three teams and each team will have three cards, okay? You then have to decide as a team where to place your digits. And remember, you have to make the biggest number. And the team that makes the biggest number becomes today's winner. winner. So pick right, right, right. three cards for each team. You pick three. Yeah, three. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's see. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. So the biggest number possible. Make, yeah. Biggest number possible. Okay, who was the biggest number possible? Let's see, let's see. We have... Oh, 983. Hmm. Fabulous. What number do you have, Amy and Asa? 722. Okay, so what number do you have, Victoria and Karaoke? 766. 766. Okay. So who's the winner this time? My child. With how many? 983. Right, Fabulous. Good, so good. let's have another go. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Ooh, let's, see, let's see who's going to be a winner now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. quickly.
kids. Today I have a friend with me. His name is Mr. String Bean, and he's saying hello too. Well, this is Mr. Crazy right there. But you see, you can move him around. So he's a little puppet. So let's see how we can make one. We're gonna start out with just a muiko. So if you find one like this, you're good to make a puppet. Then I'm gonna start by putting in the hair. So I'm going to use some wool. Uh, have you ever seen someone with green hair? Because I haven't, but this is art. So let's make some green hair. And I'm gonna use some glue as well. So I'm going to just put a lot of wood glue where I'm going to put the hair. And then I'm going to take these that I've already cut, and I'm just going to put in this green hair. I'm just going to put a bit of extra glue on it so that it really sticks. It's okay if the glue shows. It, when it dries, you won't see it at all. For the eyes, I have a few buttons here. I think it's fine. Or if you want, you can just draw it in, but I'm going to stick the buttons on there. So I take my glue again. Okay. I think for the nose this time, I'm just going to draw it in. So I draw a pointy nose. <laughs> for the mouth, I think I'm going to use some of the black wool. So I'll just cut a little bit of the black. And then I want her to be smiling. Dip it in the glue so that it sticks really well. Well, now that we've done the face, it's time to give her something to wear, so we're going to make a dress. So I take a piece of cloth, whichever one I can find, and I fold it in two so that it covers the front and the back. And I just need to cut a little hole that'll fit the size of the muiko at the bottom. And then I take the muiko and I make her wear the dress. See? She's almost dressed. But now to hold it up, I'm going to need some masking tape. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of that. And on the inside, I stick it in so that nobody knows that I stuck the dress on there. So now we're going to put some hands on so that we can move her around. So I'm going to just use a manila paper. I'm just going to draw out a hand. That's kind of a hand. And then I'm going to cut this out. So there, we have it. Then I take my masking tape again, just stick it on there. Now she has her hands in. But now I want to be able to move it. Cut like one or two of those. So I take my masking tape, just stick it on the back of the hand, and just put it in the back. There we have her. Her hands can move. So I think we're just gonna say goodbye, kids. Thank you for hanging out with us. Oh, that was brilliant. I want to make a spoon puppet, and mine will look like um, a lion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll look great, Mara. But now, it's time for our spectacular spelling competition. And it's time for... Spelling! Animal, animal, chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, respect. deep, vegetable, work. 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 work, work. Welcome to Spell It. Now, Nduta, Victoria, and Isla, you're about to step out of the shadows and into the light to compete for the top prize of the Nozon Spelling Champion, in which the winner is going to get their very own Nozon Dictionary. Each contender has just 30 seconds to spell as many words correctly as possible. If you do not hear the word, simply say repeat, and we will repeat the word for you. Each word is worth one point. Are the rules clear? Nduta, please step onto the spelling zone. Nduta, your 30 seconds begin now. Love, L O V E, war, W A R, peace, P E A C E, assist, A -double -S, S I S A, problem, P R O B L E M Harmony H A R M O N Y Religion R E L I G I O N Hostile H O S T Time out. Well done, well, Duta. <laughs> Victoria, you're up next. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Victoria. Your 30 seconds 
begin now. Pain. P A I N. Hate. H A T E. Enemy. E N E M Y. Arrest. A -R, R E S T. Forget. F O R G E T. Forgive. F O R G I V E. Accept. A -double C E F T E P T. Disagree. D I S A R D A S A G R E E. Difficult. D I double F. Time is up. <laughs> well done, Victoria. Well done, Victoria. Good one. And Isla. Take your place on the spelling zone. Isla, your 30 seconds begin now. Fear. F E A R. Harm. H A R M. Tribe. T R I B E. Unity. U N U N I T Y. Friend. F R I N D I N N I N D. Conflict. C O N F L I T. History. H I S T R O Y. Resolve. R E L O V E. Time, Time is up. up. Well done, Isla. Now that was a tough spelling competition if I've ever seen one. Now all of you have done brilliantly, so please let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> I can reveal the scores for the first no zone spell it. In reverse order, in third place, with four points is Isla. Congratulations, Isla. Great, well done. <laughs> In second place, with six points, is Nduta. <laughs> which means our well first done. No Zone Spell It champion with eight points is Victoria. Woo! <laughs> Victoria, That's step four. forward. Victoria, you are our first No Zone Spell It champion. Congratulations. <laughs> Well done. Well done. But all of you did brilliantly, and in fact, I think we all deserve a little break. It's time for the African Tales. I'm going to be reading a very special story today. It's about the importance of peace in our world. Please look out for this week's buzzwords. Peace at the waterhole. Many, many years ago, the animals of the forest lived together in harmony and peace. Every evening before the sun set, they would gather at the waterhole to share a drink and discuss the issues of the day. Two of the largest families in the forest, the baboons and the velvet monkeys, had been friends for many generations. Even though they were different in many ways, they shared their food, played games together, and assisted each other when problems arose. So there was much joy and laughter at the waterhole when some very exciting news was announced. Mr. Babu of the baboon family was engaged to Miss Vera of the velvet monkey family. What joyful news, the animals declared as they celebrated Babu and Vera's engagement with a long, cold drink from the water hole. Everyone was especially happy because Babu and Vera had been best of friends since childhood and their marriage would unite the two families forever. The wedding was set for the end of the dry season, five moons away, but the dry season didn't end. The sun just seemed to stand and stare everything down. The trees withered and no shade could be found for great buffalo. The rocks were too hot for little lizard. It was so hot that when the birds took to the air, they flopped down with thirst. And worst of all, the water hole began to dry up. The baboons held a family meeting and decided that since their family had lived in the forest the longest, they had more right to the waterhole than any other animal. 
And so they built a great fence around the water hole to stop any other animal from drinking the last few drops of precious water. They forbade any animal that wasn't a baboon from drinking the water. Every animal, including baboon's soon-to-be wife, Vera. Babu felt angry and embarrassed by his family's selfishness. So every night when they were fast asleep, Babu stole water from the hall and took it to the very thirsty varvets. When the other animals of the forest heard about this, they started to gather at Vera's home, begging Babu for some water to drink. And so Babu was forced to steal more and more water. One night, Babu's cousin spotted him filling two large gourds with water and followed him all the way to Vera's home. Then she ran back home and told the other baboons about what she had seen. They became very angry and when Babu returned, they surrounded him angrily. There's only enough water for a family, the baboons yelled at him. Forget about Vera now and look out for your own. Poor Babu. He loved his family, but he also loved Vera. What was he to do? He decided that he had to do the right thing. It was wrong to stop the other animals from drinking the water just because they were from a different family from his. When Babu told the other animals what his family had said, they were very angry and decided to go kick the baboons off the water hole. Please do not fight, Vera pleaded. Let us talk to one another, begged Babu. But no one was interested in finding a solution. Suddenly, the once peaceful waterhole became a place of conflict and war as the animals threw rocks and sticks at each other with hatred and fear. Babu and Vera stood by silently with tears in their eyes, watching the people they loved destroying the harmony that had once united them all as a happy community. That battle was the first and last at the waterhole. As the sun rose, the injured limped home exhausted. No one had the strength to keep fighting. They were no winners. Because where the water hole had been now stood a large pile of rocks and mud. The hole had been destroyed by the fighting. A few days after the battle, the animals of the forest gathered at the empty water hole and looked at the destruction they had caused. They were filled with sadness and shame. Just then, Babu and Vera approached the water hole and stood before their families and friends. Babu cleared his throat and addressed the crowd. We have learned a very important lesson, Babu declared. We have learned that when we don't care for others, we lose everything that is important to us. The crowd nodded their heads in agreement. I pray that we can work together in peace and harmony, continued Babu. Let us forget the past and instead work together to create a happy and peaceful future. All the animals cheered Babu's wise words, and at that moment, clouds filled the sky and rain began to fall and fill the water hole. The end. Wasn't that a great story? It teaches us that it's very important to be kind to your neighbor, even if they're different from you, so that we can all live in peace and harmony, just like Babu and Vera. Well, that's all we had time for. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah! And I'm so happy that the animals learned to live in peace and harmony. Thank you for coming to help us with the show today. You have all been brilliant. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah, thank you. Good. Thank you very and let's much. say goodbye to the people at home. Bye. Bye.